Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to do Excel module 6 and of module project 1. Basically, this is the sixth module of Excel section of this course. I will do this assignment step by step and you can get your assignment done by watching this complete video. If you want me to do this assignment for you or if you want me to do this complete course for you, including all the Excel assignments, Word assignments, PowerPoint assignments or access assignments, you can contact me and you can hire me either through WhatsApp or email. My WhatsApp and email is showing at the bottom of the screen. You can also hire me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance, information technology, computer sciences, all other writing assignments, etc. So now let's start this assignment and solve this assignment step by step so that you can get your assignment done by watching this complete video. But you can hire me to do this course for you. So module six and a module project one. Veritate online, manage your data with data tools. So getting started with the assignment, we are supposed to download this Excel workbook. I have already downloaded this Excel workbook and this is the Excel worksheet that we will use to get this assignment done. We will apply all the instruction steps to this Excel workbook to make this Excel workbook in the final form for the submission. Main part of the assignment is starting from the project steps and total steps to solve in this assignment are 12. We are supposed to solve these 12 steps to make this assignment ready for the submission. I will be doing this assignment step by step so that you can solve your assignment as well. So let's move to first step of the assignment. Padma Legori is a content manager for Veritate Online, a website that sells electronics, home furnishing, and other goods throughout the United States. Padma oversees the contractor the company hires to research, write, and edit content for the website, including product description and answer to customer, customer questions. She is organizing information about the contractor in the Excel workbook and asks for your help in updating and analyzing the data. Switch to contractor worksheet, unfreeze the top row of the worksheet. So we are supposed to unfreeze the top row of the contractor worksheet. This is the contractor worksheet and you can see that first row is frozen and we are supposed to unfreeze this first row. So for unfreezing the first row, we will simply go to the view tab and then go to the freeze panes and you can see there are three options and we are supposed to unfreeze the panes. So we will select the unfreeze panes and you can see that no first row is not frozen. So that means first row is not static. That is all about step number one. So we are done with first step of the assignment. So now let's move to the second step. Padma wants to sort and filter the contractor data. Format the range A4 up to G52 as a table with header using blue-gray table style medium 9. Use contractor as the name of the table. So we are supposed to format this range that is A4 up to G52 as a table 
and we will use the headers and we are supposed to apply blue gray table style medium nine So first we will select the range that is A4 up to G50 to range has been selected and we are supposed to format this as a table. So we will go to the home tab and then in the style we can see format as a table. So we are supposed to apply blue gray table style medium 9. So we will select the blue gray table style medium 9 this is the blue gray table style medium 9 and we are supposed to use this one so we are supposed to use the header so my table has header we will check this box and click ok so now you can see that this range has been converted into the table so now we are supposed to give a name to the table and the name of the table should be contractors so we will go to design tab and in the name table name we will select the contractors So that is all about step number two. So we have completed second step and now we will move to next step that is step number three. So it is saying that apply the first column table style option to separate the ID values from the rest of the data. He size the column A to its bad, best fit position. So now we are supposed to use the first column table style option. So for this we will simply go to the table design and in the table style options we are supposed to select the first column check, first column box, check this one. And you can see that now first column is separated that has the IDs. So now we are supposed to so he size the column A to its best fit position. So we will go to the format, auto fit column width, and that is all about step number three. So we have completed three steps of the assignment. So now let's do next step, that is step number four. A new contractor started last week and Padma wants to include her data with the other contractors. Insert the record shown in table 1 to the end of the contractor table row 53. So this is row 53 and we are supposed to add this record to the table. So I will simply copy this ID and I will paste in the ID column that is A53 then first name this one then the last name this one then the spe speciality is this one 
then the year start is 2022 then pay category is 1 and ever rating is 3 pay category is 1 and ever rating is 3 so we have added a new record to the table at row 53 and that was all about step number 4 of the assignment so we are done with four steps of this assignment so far Now let's move to next step, that is step number five. So Padma wants to quickly identify the contractors who have been working with the very time, very date, the longest multi-level sort, the data in the contractor table. First in ascending order by the start year, then in ascending order by the last field. So basically we are supposed to do some sorting of this contractor table and there is multi-level sort. So first is by the first is by the ascending order in the ascending order by the start year. So we will click on the home tab and go to the sort and filter and click on the custom filter. So first, first sorting is in ascending order by the start year. So we will select the start year here and it should be in ascending order that is smallest to largest. Then the second is in ascending order by the last field. in ascending order by the last field. Click OK. So we are done with the sorting of this table. So now we will move to next step that is step number 6 because we are done with 5 steps of the assignment so far. So step number six is Padma knows the contractor table contains a duplicate record in the range A5 up to A53. Create a conditional formatting, highlight cell rule that identifies duplicate cells values by formatting them with the light red fill with the dark red text. Delete the second instance of the duplicate record the one with the start year of 2022. So basically in the step number six, we are supposed to create a conditional formatting rules that will identify the duplicate values in the range A5 up to A53. So to do this step, we will first select this range. So range has been selected and now we are supposed to apply a conditional formatting rule for the duplicate values, duplicate values that should, that should be light red fill with the dark red text. So light red fill with the dark red text. So you can see that we have two duplicate values on row 49 and eighteen. So now we are supposed to select the second instance of the duplicate values. This one. Remove duplicate and we are supposed to remove the duplicate from the 
ID column. You can see that duplicate values has been removed from the ID column. And that is all about step number six. So basically in this video, I have solved six steps for you. And total steps to solve in this assignment are 12. Means I have solved 50% of the assignment in this video for you. But if you want me to do this complete assignment for you, you need to hire me for this assignment and you can also hire me for this complete course. I will be producing a grade for you in your course. You can also hire me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance, information technology, etc. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will get back to you with another video. Thank you so much again.